Hey guys, Iron's Creation back again with a brand new Destiny 2 build video and today we're back on the Titan and we're doing another Middle Tree Solar build. Now for the Middle Tree Solar, as always, you've got your Burning Maul, you've got your Throwing Hammer, you've got your Roaring Flames, and you've got your Tireless Warrior. Now for Roaring Flames is a big thing for this uh, setup because we can basically one-shot most things just using our Grenade because we'll be using the Ashen Wakes for this build. Now for the Ashen Wakes, you have to combine it with Fusion Grenade and it literally makes you into throwing like a baseball. It's really, really fun. And again, for the Hammer, it's like a Wombo so you can throw your Grenade really fast and your Hammer really fast and you're like Wombo comboing. So it's really, really fun. And then for Tireless Warrior, after hitting enemy with your Throwing Hammer, pick up the Hammer, triggers your health regeneration as well that's so really really strong now for the setup we got a last breath with Devilicious and adrenaline junkie and um, it doesn't really matter what you put in your top slot it's up to you uh, i got telesto in there just to decimate with me when i, I can run and gun with it and just take everything out because the particle deconstruction will be running and then tread and needle is the same right there with a warpel just to take down the boss and stuff in this lost sector now uh, we got hold fast helm on the solar i'm running a double ashes to assets because we're going to be throwing a grenade on a continuous basis and we want to build that super energy as much as possible and then we got our explosive well maker which works perfectly with the golf ball throw um so Golf ball throw, the baseball throw, whatever you want to call it, the Ash and Wakes is your go to for it. Now, for the Ash and Wakes, is fusion grenades now explode on impact, gain increased throw speed, and final blows of fusion grenades grant energy as well for grenades, which is really good. And with that, I'm running an elemental ordinance. Everything else doesn't really matter too much. Uh, this is just the Ash and Wakes I had at the time. I would probably prefer an arc or a solar one, but I don't have one, and I just didn't have materials at the time when I was master working it to, to change it over. So I kept it on void for now. So we have elemental ordinance on that. Then over here, we got, uh, as I said, middle slot can always be changed around and I'm running an elemental ordinance there again. Um, I'm running an, another explosive well maker and then I'm running an innervation and I'm running a scav for the telesto and on the bond, we are running explosive finisher. So whenever I do a finisher, I get a grenade back, which is handy as a backup if you run out, which you shouldn't on this build. And then you have bountiful wells for the increased wells and of course, particle deconstruction as always. Now, as I said, you got your explosive well maker, double elemental ordinance and explosive well maker on this one. Now you can have it where we could say we could take off one of these and put on a melee well maker instead. Or you can take one of the explosives off and it'll still work just as good. So I'm going to run in here straight off the bat and we're going to throw out this boy. Instant kill. And the best thing with the hammer, you can just throw it, spam it, and pick the hammer back up on this setup. So I've worn Thames time three now. So I'm going to run over here, I'm going to throw it, and we just wipe them all out with all of those wells, man. This is so much fun. And you can run point blank. Now, if your charge melee is set up the way I have it set up, it's where you can just use it whenever you want, point blank. You can just continuously throw this hammer and do loads of damage. Now, as you see, Roaring to Flame time three, literally let me one shot that yellow bar, no problem whatsoever. And the hammer can always be picked up no matter where you go. And there you go. I literally have a grenade almost every single time. Now, your super isn't too important, as I said or anything here it's because like, like, that's why i have the explosive finisher on it now you can kill yourself with the golf ball throw but it's it's rare because you're not gonna be that close to them but you can hit the damage now if you wanted to have more survivability as well on this setup you can put on well of life it's where whenever you pick up a well you will get um ability or no sorry you get healing regen so your health regen will go back up so this one, as you can see, I am zooming through this last sector. I'm not even purposely trying to do it. It's just that this setup just decimates everything. And like, once you keep that Roaring Flames times three up, you will one shot everything with your abilities. It's not just your grenade, it's also your, um, your hammer throw as well on top of it. So I'm gonna throw this from here. And boom, see you later. Throw that, throw that. Like, it's just continuous. I can just trap these boys inside. I'm gonna back up for a minute. Get rid of the explodey boys. And you can see all of these wells are everywhere. And I'm just having so much fun with decimating everything with this build. Now, this build works for everything. I even tested it in um, a 1350, and I could pretty much almost one shot an overload champion with a little bit of time and patience. So you stun him, run up, and you golf ball him, and it ruins him so much. It's crazy. It's crazy strong. And I just killed two of them with one throw of a, of a grenade. And I can just pick all this back up. And it has a really good radius as well. 
for everything. Now let's see how much damage we can do. I almost one shot him. And there we go, we did one shot pretty much. We can wombo combo, pick up the hammer. I pretty much lost my hammer now. No, oh, I got it. Yeah, let's go. So the hammer will stay up for about five seconds, I'd say, if I had to guess. Uh, something like that before it will decide to blow up and go for a walkie. Um, there we go. And we'll have boys coming out here and one golf ball to kill most of them. And then you throw that. So. There you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wells with a wombo combo. And that is for one grenade throw and one hammer throw on the last enemy. I got seven wells there just from doing that alone. Now you could do things like you could run well of potency if you really want to get your super back a lot more. Also you can run Tarmor Classic Blooming where you get a solar melees, give you orbs of power. You can also have Tarmor Classic Strike. So stack and stun champions which I was doing in the Lost Sectors and stuff. So this build can be used for Lost Sectors, it can be used for GMs, it can be used for act any activity. I have so much fun with this in like Gambit, Strikes, PvP even it works like the golf ball will like one shot in PvP when you get that roaring flames up as well because if you don't kill him at one hit with the golf ball you can hit the hammer and it'll kill him in PvP with this it's not fully set up for PvP as you can see it is a PvE setup now we go back over it it's going to be fusion grenade to pair with the ash and wicks you've got your burning maul with your throwing hammer the roaring flames you got to get that time three to do that insane damage and then you got tireless warrior after hitting enemy with your throwing hammer you get regen on health uh, i'm running last breath now i didn't really use my weapons there because i wanted to show how strong the roaring flames was for this build more so than anything else but if you want to you can run and gun with your last breath you got your telesto or you got your treaded needle whatever you want to run and gun with this works really well you can just throw telestos all over the floor and then just throw your grenades and people walk over them everything will blow up and also telesto works with explosive well makers so that'll create two wells on a detonation as well and um, double ashes to assets so because of the way the grenade works it's killing so much many enemies so quickly you get your super back really really fast on this one and um, then you have your anti-barrier on that but it don't really matter here as i said these slots are up to you and um, then you've got your elemental ordinance on top of that um so i said the reason i said they're up to you is because it depends on what activity you are actually running and stuff as well um preferably a solar or an arc ash and wakes would be much better because on the arc one you can run momentum transfer or on in case you lost your hammer or again more likely i'd say a solar one would be a lot better because on solar you can run impact induction so causing damage with your melee reduce your grenade cooldown so again but as you saw there was no real struggle for me to get any cooldowns there because of the amount of wells we were generating on this build uh, then we have a melee well maker here on the chest piece again in the middle two slot construction concussive and sniper damage resist can be changed to whatever you want as i always say you can have a scavenger in here with innervation or if you want to you can run a double innervation whatever you like and then on here we got our bountiful wells we got our particularly construction for celesto if you do decide to use a fusion rifle and then you have your explosive finisher as a backup so uh, that's the setup that's the build i just i have a lot of fun with this as i say um i really do hope you love this video because i know i love playing with this and um please like and subscribe if you like what you see and i will catch you in the next one